pattern driven component now we will use another component uh, pattern as a reference for making multiple number of patterns so here let's see pattern driven component now here we will choose another pattern as a reference from assembly or from part okay let's see we have here one bolt and nut let's say i am going to select this bolt as a component and i want to pattern so here next next see driving pattern or component this hole is a feature driving feature from part and component we will create in uh, after this so i am going to choose this hole look this hole took the pattern of hole and make multiple number of bolt now see let's say okay and look we use another pattern and create pattern okay now let's oh, let me edit edit this part and here i am going to make circular pattern this hole let's say seven enter see there is a seven hole now cancel save changes to plate yes look there is a seven number of holes just because of pattern feature now let me do reverse now again let me choose here pattern driven component now component this time i am going to choose this nut and this time instead of any feature i am going to choose component so let's say i am going to choose this bolt now you will see the preview all nuts going to fix with the help of this component pattern if i am going to say okay see just re okay now look look this is fixed if i am going to edit feature five enter cancel say yes and look so this is how pattern driven component works or pattern driven component pattern works don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching